Hey guys, it's Star. Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you had a great holiday with your families and had a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to do things a little bit different today because I'm going to be doing your, um, you know, your bi-monthly love reading here as I usually do with the Romance Angels. But then after that, I'm not going to do the general reading for this month because I'm going to go right into your yearly forecast to see what you guys can expect to be coming up for this year for each month for you. So let's get started with your love reading uh, with the Romance Angels. I do feel like a big theme for you guys this year is going to be a letting go process. So letting go of, um, it could be people, it could be old thought patterns especially is what I get. I get there's been a lot of thinking on your part, just reoccurring thoughts on a particular subject matter that need, you need to let go of this year. So let's get started and see what messages the angels have for you with regards to your love lives. What do we have for Taurus for January 1st through the 15th, 2018? Okay, so we have the first card up is healing family issues. You guys could be having some, you know, for those of you who are coupled, especially married, I feel like you're dealing with some issues, dealing with family. Maybe you have family that has been getting involved in your relationships, um, your family or your partner's family. I also feel like there's old wounds that are being healed. And this has to do with that letting go process that I was just talking about. There are, you know, old wounds from even from childhood that... You guys are coming into a place in your life where you can let that go if you just consciously make that choice. Uh, we also have engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel I do feel for you coupled Tauruses out there, I feel like you um, you know facing these issues from the past. Like I said, it could be even childhood issues or just issues within your relationship. Actually facing them, talking about them is going to help you to be able to give more of yourself, more commitment, and, and also to accept more from others. Um, and I don't know why my camera is looking a little bit fuzzy here today. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see if that's better. Um, and then for you singles... For my single Tauruses out there, same kind of thing. I feel like you guys have been carrying around some baggage that hasn't allowed you um, to really immerse yourself in relationships that even feel good to you guys. Um, I feel like there's always something holding you back. Okay, we also have finances and career, so that has been a big focus to you. You guys may have been really super busy here towards the end of 2017, and this may have affected your relationships somehow, your romantic relationships, whether or not you get really involved with someone. I feel like you're creating, um, you know, kind of busy work for yourself so that you don't have to deal with the past issues and um, the idea of um, being committed to someone. Maybe that's a little bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable for you guys. And of course, being a Taurus, Finances is where you guys are the most comfortable. And so that's where you tend to put, you've been putting all your attention is into your work and your career. So that has been an issue. Let me get some clarifiers here and then we'll get started on your Celtic Cross Love Spread. All right, let's see what's going on here with family issues. Okay, so there were some lies, deceit here that was uncovered. Um, perhaps through family, having to do with family, you know, um, not necessarily it had to do with your partner, but for some, for some of you it is. Overall, it's just lies that have been uncovered or just deception overall in general. And there's healing that needs to happen with regards to this situation. Uh, for some of you, it's just overall trust issues. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles here, so that's your energy. I feel like whatever it was that happened to you guys here in the past has actually made you stronger. Um, it actually has made you also more focused, again, on your career and finance. 
for engagement we have, what do you know, the Hierophant, which is all about commitment. Okay, so I do feel like commitment is pretty big for you guys right now in the beginning of January. Some of you could be getting engaged, getting over your issues here, um, being able to commit yourself to someone or wanting to. But I think the important thing here is that you guys kind of pick your heads up from just being at work, you know, and into your money, your finances, your career, and really taking a look at what the relationship that you have in front of you and whether or not this is really something that you want for the long term because that's what it's looking like. And clarifying that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there is going to be a major change in you guys' um, long-term commitment. So for you coupled Tauruses out there, I do feel like you're re-examining your commitments here in January. Um, and for some of you, this may indicate changes. So for some of you, you're going to be re-looking at this situation, this uh, relationship, long-term relationship that you've been in. And you're going to reevaluate whether or not you want to continue, okay? Because there are issues from the past that need to be healed. Uh, and I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys have been hurt to the point where, again, you're, you're just really wanting to just focus on the material because emotions have been just a little bit too much for you to deal with lately. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be change with regards to commitments overall. So for some of you, it's going to be ascending to a higher level of commitment. And I feel like for others of you, you're reevaluating whether or not you want to be in the commitment that you are existed in. Uh, for finances and career, we have the Ten of Wands reverse. So yeah, some of you guys have been really focused on your career, your finances. Um, and I feel like this has been a huge burden to you. you you're feeling overworked and you're kind of needing some rest is what I see. So maybe you guys spent a lot of money, you know, obviously with through Christmas and all that. Um, and now I'm feeling like here in January, you're just going to need to kind of take it easy. Um, otherwise you're going to burn yourself out. It's going to yeah, manifest itself here with the page of swords reverse. It could manifest itself in you being overstressed, overworked and kind of snapping at people. So just watch out for that. Okay. Let's move on to your Celtic cross spread and see, take a little bit deeper look into what's going on in the Taurus love life for January 1st through the 15th. Guys, I just wanted to thank you so much for all the comments that you guys have left me. I really um, try to keep up with them and make some type of comment back, respond back, or whatever. But it's been so crazy this, you know, the end of the year. I've had company over and all of that. So my apologies. But <clears throat> I truly, truly appreciate you guys sharing all your stories with me. Um, I just love that. That's exactly what keeps me doing this. All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus. Oop. What do Tauruses need to know from January 1st through the 15th in their love lives? Okay, we have two cards. Okay, we have Five of Swords as your central issue. And the Lover's Reverse is what's crossing you. So definitely conflict within your relationship. <clears throat> this looks like a long-term commitment for many of you. For others of you, it could be a soulmate relationship that you are at odds with the person, in which you are at odds with the person. Um, it just seems to me like this is like a no-win situation here where maybe somebody thought they'd won the, the battle, but in reality, nobody won. This has been a disappointment here for both people. In the foundation, we have the tower reversed. I feel like whatever uh, relationship I'm talking about here, all the bad stuff has already happened. You already know the good, the bad, and the ugly about this person, this partner that you have. And right now, you're going through definitely a rough patch. There's been a lot of chaos, I feel. Um, just things coming to light that you didn't expect. 
And like I said, overall conflict, you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Um, there might even be decisions that need to be made that nobody wants to make those decisions. In the past here, we have the chariot. Okay, so there was some sort of victory here in the past or somebody felt victorious or moved on. Um, there could have been a physical move as well by someone in your past. What's crowning you is the Ace of Wands. So you guys are thinking about that person that really stirs you up inside. You know, you're very passionate about this person. You can't get them off your mind. In the near future, we have the Emperor Reverse. Okay, so you may be dealing with an Aries as possible. I mean, we have so many signs here. Um, could be anyone, but <clears throat> somebody who could be a bit controlling. Or not a bit controlling, very controlling actually. Um, somewhat of a tyrant or this could be you okay but we will clarify let's see how you're seeing yourself this January okay you're moving away from a situation that no longer serves you with the six of swords here um, I do see like I said the foundation here is a tower reverse so there was chaos at some point the shit hit the fan and now you're trying to make it get away because I feel like you see that this is just not going anywhere. Um, you're not winning. That person is not winning. How your partner sees you is the Three of Swords. So yeah, definitely they know that you are broken hearted for some reason. Maybe just by their behavior. I get, I get the feeling this is more like behavioral kind of things. Like your partner just not acting themselves. Um, and you're feeling like you have no control over this situation. But that attraction is still there. It's like you want a new beginning. And I'm not sure that it's with this partner that you have with you right now. Okay, this could be for some people. For some of you, some of you Tauruses are wanting a new relationship with somebody else. Okay, I feel like a lot of you are ready to let go. Like I said in the beginning, there is a reoccurring theme here for Tauruses that I'm, I feel is going to be important to you guys. And that is a process of letting go. So for some of you, it will be letting go of a person. Um, for others of you, it's just going to be letting go of behaviors and thought patterns especially is what I see. And you guys have a lot of swords here. So I do feel like it's thought patterns for many of you. Um, but you are wanting a new beginning. Something to make you feel passionate again, make you feel alive again. Because I feel like you guys have been stuck in some sort of a rut. Okay, hopes or fears, we have the hangman reverse. So yeah, like I said, stuck in a rut. When this guy is upright, he's just hanging out there, not doing anything. You're kind of just stuck. So you're hoping to get unstuck in January from that heartbreak, I guess, that chaos that you've been living through in 2017. You want to put it behind you and not bring it in with you in 2018 and I could not agree more. Okay, overall outcome. Beautiful. We have the temperance. So there will be healing. Uh, there will be a coming together of peacefulness of sorts within a relationship, I feel. So I do feel like there's been, you know, like I said, a lot of chaos in a particular relationship. For some of you, I do feel like you've been dealing with two people. Or there's been one person kind of on the sidelines is what I'm feeling. Um, but none of these relationships have been easy. Okay, whatever relationships, romantic relationships you've been involved in, even for those of you who have been juggling two people or have had another person secretly on your mind, I feel like you are at odds with everyone involved. Okay, so your existing relationship or your long term that you are having or that you're involved in, I feel has been very chaotic lately, uh, full of conflict, fighting, um, and as well as conflict with a person that has been on your mind, um, if I feel like all year, to be honest. Okay, so let me see what we got here. We have the Five of Swords here is your central issue. What's going on there for Tauruses? Why do Tauruses have the Five of Swords here? It's a central issue. All right, we got two cards, Ace of Wands Reverse, that's what you're thinking about, and then we have the Ten of Cups, interesting. 
So yeah, you guys were waiting for a new beginning with your partner that you've been having a lot of conflict with throughout this year, waiting for that new start so that you can have that happy family, that emotional satisfaction that you've been looking for. Um, is has kind of been on hold. I feel like it's there for you, but you need to get over that hump. You know, there's something that's been following you, per particular theme here that has you guys just not seeing eye to eye. It's like you can't get over something. You keep arguing about the same issue here. And that is what's not allowing that new emotion or new passion to begin to start. Let's see why the Lovers Reverse is here crossing you. Why is the Lovers Reverse crossing Taurus for January? Okay, again, we have two cards. Star Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. So, yeah, again, I feel like there's issues, you know, like we said in the Romance Angels, there's healing of family issues that need to occur. Here we have the Star Reverse. So you haven't been able to get over or move on from a particular issue that's been plaguing your relationship. Um, also for some of you, I feel like you haven't been able to be completely emotionally satisfied in a situation that was kind of contentious, um, and start that new beginning again with this person, because I feel this person has moved away from you. They're at a distance from you. And so that is what's hindering this relationship. So I do have a couple of storylines here. So guys pay attention because I get confused myself. So again, I have one storyline where it's a couple who's been having issues all year long and haven't been able to um, overcome a certain topic, a certain issue that is reoccurring in your relationship. And it's kind of become a tit-for-tat sort of situation, and that's what's hindering your happiness. And you do have the possibility here to start fresh, start new, and be happy with this person, but this issue keeps holding you back. You haven't been able to get over it. And um, that is what's hindering the relationship. Let's see what happened here with the, tor the Taurus. <laughs> the tower reversed in the foundation. Why is the tower reversed here in the foundation? So again, I feel like whatever happened that was bad is in the past. Uh, we have the ace of pentacles reversed. So for some of you, I feel like this was a relationship that you really had high hopes for. Uh, but kind of fell apart before anything really materialized for some of you. For others of you, it could have been um, issues with regards to money. Maybe you had some fights with regards to money all year long. You haven't been able to see eye to eye on this. Um, and we have the world reverse here as the foundation. So yeah, it's like Something needed to end. There's been issues here because there's a stage here. There's a cycle that needs to end before you can have this new beginning um, that's more stable and more grounded. So there's things that, again, you need to let go of. You need to put certain um, subjects in the past. Let me see what this chariot card is about here in the past here. What is this chariot about? For Taurus, January 1st through the 15th, 2018. Ten of Wands. I'm getting like too hot to handle. There was something that was too hot to handle and somebody moved on or physically moved. Emperor reverse. You could have been dealing with an Aries. I have the Emperor here twice. Uh, some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. For some of you, it could have been a Scorpio. Mm, some may be dealing with a Cancer. Again, I have all the signs here, so let's just go by the characteristics of this um, archetype. So I do feel like somebody moved on in your past. Okay, so someone moved away from you, moved on from you, or you moved on from someone else because you were feeling burdened and out of control in the situation. Again, I, I, I get this message like too hot to handle. So maybe it was a relationship that got completely out of hand. 
um, as far as like the passion, like it was uncontrollable, so someone just couldn't handle it, and they skipped town. Okay, um, what's crowning you is the Ace of Wands, so you want that new passionate beginning, but you need to put the past behind you. Okay, so we're getting that, again, reoccurring. We have the world reversed. We have the Ten of Swords reversed. There's something that you want to get over, you need to get over in order to start fresh and new. And I feel like you guys are starting the year with that sort of mindset. Like you don't want to bring your garbage from last year into this year. We have the Queen of Sor Queen of Cups, sorry, reverse. So what you're leaving behind is disappointment and sadness from the prior year or at least that's what your intent is you don't want to drag these issues into the new year so whatever situation you guys may be in uh, whether it's the couple Tauruses who have been having trouble all year with their partner uh, you want to start fresh that is your intention here um, and move on from the past but we do have the Emperor reverse here in the near future so let's see what that's about Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Empress. Okay, I feel like you guys, we have the Empress here and the Emperor, but the Emperor is reversed. So, I feel like the Empress is your energy, regardless of whether or not you are a male or female. It doesn't matter. Um, whoever the other partner is, so your partner, your love interest, whoever you're here listening you know, to this video about, um, either you or the partner is guarded. Okay, they're holding on, bringing the, you know, maintaining their walls up. And I feel like it's you guys, to be honest. I feel like your partner is going to kind of put himself, him or herself in a more vulnerable position than they're used to here in the near future. But even though they're trying to show you that they're coming at you in this more vulnerable state and trying to work with you, um, I feel like you're just not having it. You're ha you have your back toward this person, kind of looking toward the future or looking out just satisfied with who you are right now and not really willing to bring your guard down and you know welcome this person whoever this is in let me pull one more card okay yeah that makes sense we have the five of cups here so you're protecting your heart because you've been hurt by whoever this is in the past and i feel like this person is going to come back to you trying to gain control of the situation that has gone out of control Okay, and I feel like the reason it's gone out of control, we have this Emperor Reverse in the past here. Um, whoever this Emperor Reverse is, is the person who left. So somebody left, somebody moved on from you, but I feel like they're coming back in the near future. Um, they might be coming back to apologize, but I feel like you guys are not going to be open to it. For those of you who are coupled... I just feel like whatever issues you've been dealing with are going to carry over into the near future because they need to be dealt with head on and you guys are not seeing eye to eye. It's like you're not, you're not being open enough to really discuss the issues is what I'm getting. And that's why the cycle has not ended. Okay. You're stuck in a cycle and you have all these new beginnings available to you. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles, but both are reverse. So I feel like it's really you guys standing in, you know, your own way. So what are you moving on from, Taurus? Because we have here, you're seeing yourself as the Six of Swords. Okay, you're moving on from a lack of joy. A lack of joy, a lack of clarity, especially if you don't know what's going on. There's a situation in which... You were very confused. Um, and I feel like you're, you're just, you don't even want to think about that anymore. You want to just be done with it. Move on.
Yeah. Seven of uh, Wands reversed. So this was something that in the past you really tried. You really tried to give it your all. You tried to defend it. You tried to move things along. But it was filled with conflict and confusion. And so now you're more... I feel like you're more um, apt to just maybe go elsewhere and start anew because I feel like you guys are feeling really disappointed with where you are right now in your relationship. So if that means cutting that person out, I feel like you are kind of ready to cut them out. And that makes sense because your partner is seeing you as the Three of Swords clarified by the Four of Wands reverse. So that's them seeing you as broken hearted and kind of ready to let a long-term long relationship go. Okay, we have the full reverse. So they feel like you want to let things go, but you're afraid. Like maybe fear is what is stopping you. Sorry. i tell you this. Oh my gosh. This sage has been so dangerous. <laughs> Hold on, let me pour some water on it because... Where the heck is the water? All right, hold on one second, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Gosh. All right. <laughs> it's so funny because the cards even, I was getting a message like too hot to handle. Maybe it was the sage. All right. So again, your partner sees that you want to get out of this relationship or at least that you're kind of thinking about it, but there is fear that's holding you back from starting anew somewhere else. Or at least that's what they think. In your hopes and fears, you had the hangman reverse. So I feel like you're hoping that you gain enlightenment as to which course of action you're, you should take. I feel like there's a bit of conflict here with regards to what, what direction you're going to take here. Okay, but slow and steady wins the race, and I feel like that's how you are going to approach whatever situation comes up here in the new year, um, is by really thinking about things. I feel like this is your intent. This is how you're hoping to deal with things, is kind of slow and steady, and moving on only when you feel you have all the information that you need. And we have the Five of Pentacles reverse, and I feel like you guys are hoping... To regain a connection with someone that left your life or that you have been feeling left out in the cold from. Again, I keep getting this theme like you guys, many of you I feel like you're dealing with two people. So in other words, <coughs> excuse me, you're dealing with your long-term relationship that is uh, being very contentious and conflictive and you know just full of issues and then I feel like you also had somebody else that left your life and you've been thinking about them as well okay so in the near in I'm sorry overall outcome we had the temperance so again the temperance is a card of healing it's a card of alchemy bringing things together um, having patience Why is the temperance here in the overall outcome for Taurus? All right. We have the tower. I, that's, I feel like that's past, though. So I feel like what it's saying here is that you're going to heal from this tower situation that you had in your foundation that's already happened. So whatever happened to you guys in 2017 that was really tough for you, whether it be with your committed partner or whether it be with this other person who has who was sort of at a distance from you i feel like there is a coming together there's going to be a healing um you're going to manage to emotionally balance yourself from this 
tower situation, and I'm just going to call it a tower situation because for each of you it's going to be different. Uh, whatever chaotic situation you had in 2017 that I feel like you've been dealing with for pretty much the entire year last year, um, you're going to be able to look at that, the lovers, okay? You're going to be able to balance the situation. Um, and this might come as a surprise to you. I feel like somebody might come back here apologizing and wanting to make things right. And this is going to surprise the hell out of you. So that's what I'm getting for you guys for your love lives. Let's leave that there and then um, get right into your 2018 forecast. See what else is going to happen here for you guys so you can be prepared. And if you guys want more specific information about your particular situation, feel free to email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com to order your personal reading. Okay. Let's shuffle these. Actually... these all right let's get started here for 2018 what can we tell Taurus what does Taurus need to know for the year one card for each month angels one card for each month for Taurus what can we tell them about 2018 oops For January, here we go. For January, we're having to, sorry, let me get this closer to you, keep the faith. Let me shuffle these a little differently. Okay. February, we're going to be healing from the past. Sorry for the shuffling, guys. I know you hate it, but it needs to be done, okay? So be patient. Temperance, remember, temperance, patience. All right, January, February, March, we're going to be dealing with some tough decisions. Okay. going to be receiving some support or giving support. And I will pull clarifiers for each of these as well. Okay. For May, we have gracefully aging. time to take the next step so whatever it is that you are starting off here in the beginning of the year I feel like towards mid-year is when you're really going to see fruition and time to take the next step in whatever it is that you are pursuing Are the butterfly oracle cards by the way for life changes okay for july we're moving that could be moving on from something physically moving okay august we have motivation leaving 
leaving the situation in September. So guys, keep this um, video in mind and kind of refer back to it throughout the year because that is the only way you're really going to know if it resonated or not. Okay, so we were on September. October, we're going to be having some dietary change or needing a dietary change. Let me move these cards out of the way. Sorry for that reach. Where was I? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Okay. Two more. In November, you're going to need to be true to you. Live in your truth. I don't know about you, but that has been a theme for me for 2017. So I guess it's going to continue to be. Because I'm a Taurus just like you guys. Alright, and last card for December 2018. What do we have? You're going to be dealing with romantic relationship dynamics. Alright. Let's take a look. So. For January, we had keep the faith. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So in January, you guys have been anticipating something, waiting for something to happen, waiting for someone to come back, to contact you, uh, waiting for something, something to manifest itself. And I feel like in this month especially, it's really important for you to keep the faith and not give up because I feel like whatever it is that you're anticipating is going to be coming. We do have the Seven of Pentacles here upright. So this is a person who's invested a lot of time and effort into something and they're just waiting to reap the rewards of that. So you don't want to give up before it's too late, you know, give up before this actually manifests. Um, so you're needing to keep the faith that this is going to happen for you, even though you've been waiting forever for it to happen. Okay, because whatever it is, I feel like um, has a lot to do with divine timing. And so it's not something that can be rushed. It's just like, you know, you see these pentacles are kind of like fruits on a tree. You can't rush the ripening of, you know, a fruit, an apple or whatever. I guess you can, but that's what, you know, the supermarkets do. But then you get yucky fruit, right? You don't get natural, organic, organically grown fruit. So that's what we want to do. We want to organically grow whatever it is that we are, that we have coming to us that needs to manifest in, in our lives. So keep that in mind for January. That's going to be... A theme for you guys, keep the faith. Don't give up. Okay, so for February, your focus is going to be on healing the past. Okay, and we do have the Seven of Swords reverse. So again, this goes back to the prior spreads that we did. We did see that in the past, you had a lot of chaos in your life. Um, possibly deceptions that were uncovered. And that's where February is going to be focused on is to heal the deceptions that have occurred in the past either towards you or even healing healing um and forgiving yourself from any deception that you may have been involved in is also um what could be indicated here so healing from the past is going to be very important to you guys in february In March, we have important decisions that need to be made. Okay. And we have the full reverse. So there is a decision that's going to be need to be made in March. Um, but there feels some hesitancy here. There's going to be fear. Um... A fear to start anew, a fear to take any sort of risk. But I feel that this keeping the faith kind of carries into all of this as well. You know, and the Fool, when you really think about it, is actually a very spiritual card. In the upright, the Fool has all the faith in the world. You know, he, he doesn't know what is coming around the corner for him he doesn't know what's coming next okay but he just has faith that things will work out 
but you guys are showing up here as the full reversed so decisions may be difficult for you to make because you have that doubt um, you're experiencing that doubt or that that hesitancy to take any risks and I, I don't know that that would be the best course of action for you so keep that in mind in March in the month of March uh, when you're trying to make your decisions are you looking at things from a more positive perspective or are you constantly always thinking that the worst is going to happen okay so that's something that you guys need to think about uh, January, February, March, April, we have support and we have the Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, so I feel like what this is saying here, by support, I feel like you guys in April may need to communicate more with others, um, seek out support from others, from your family members, from your close friends, uh, from your romantic partners. I feel like there are things that you are not aware of that other people can help you with so april is going to be a big month for you guys to really reach out and feel supported by your community by your family by your friends um you may also have some situation here where there may be lies or deceit and you may need to have somebody to lean on to kind of get over this i don't feel like it's going to be major I feel like it could just be misunderstandings and talking it out is going to easily fix the situation, but that's what you need to keep in mind. So like I say, guys, you know, look, refer to this video throughout the year because that will help you through um, what the major issues are going to be. So just keep in mind for April, reach out to people and be more open to communication, be more open to accepting support from others and not just always give it. Okay, because I do feel like you Tauruses um, are very generous with your time, with your advice, um, but you don't always accept it from others, so just keep that in mind. Okay, for May, we have Aging Gracefully. Oh, we got two cards. I'm going to put those back because I only want one. Aging Gracefully. Okay. All right. And we have the Ace of Cups. So what I do feel for this, for May, I feel like May is going to be all about self-love. Um, I really don't get that. I don't feel like this ha has to do with romantic love. I feel like this is really has to do with self-love, um, taking care of your body, taking care of your looks. Uh, you know, Taurus is a sign that's ruled by the planet Venus, which is all about love and beauty. Uh, so I feel like you really need to call upon the Venus energy to take care of yourself, give yourself some tender loving care in the month of January, March, April, May. In the month of May, there's going to need be a need for more self-love, more attention, whether it be like to uh, an exercise regimen, uh, being more serious about that, um, maybe even having some elective surgery, okay? Maybe Botox, maybe, you know, things of that nature. I feel like that's going to be a focus for you in May, uh, which kind of makes sense. May is most of uh, Taurus's uh, birthday month, so... We're going to be really focused on our age and looking good then. So Ace of Cups is all about self-love, okay? So keep that in mind there around your birthday time. Okay, for June we have Take the Next Step Now. So something is going to be happening in June, and it's going to be time to make your move then. Let's see what this is about. Wow. Wow. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles, so I absolutely feel that this is having to do with finances and or your career. For those of you who have started businesses, independent businesses, I feel like if you're an entrepreneur, I feel June is going to be a really lucrative month. And it's going to be the time to, that's when the irons, you know, you got to strike while the iron's hot. And I feel like the iron's going to be hot in June. 
So please keep that in mind. There's a lot of money to be made here. And I feel like you guys are really going to see that coming in. If you started a new business, um, maybe around June, a lot of you guys uh, may be getting promoted, um, maybe getting a bonus, something of that sort where it makes you feel accomplished. It makes you feel good about yourself and it fills up your bank account. So yay, good news. All right. I like that. June's going to be a good month. So May, June, May, you're going to be looking good. June, you're going to be, have mo be having money in your pocket. So yes. All right. In July, we're moving. What is this about? Because I don't want to move. Okay. We have, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. All right. So Again, I feel this is career or business oriented here, having to do, so May, actually June, July, in the summer months, especially June and July, I feel like are going to be really important for you guys to take that next step in your career. So again, you're going to be either getting opportunities to be promoted, to get bonuses, to expand your business. I feel also that there, there will be for those of you who are entrepreneurs who just started a new business or have been having um, a business on the side, or this is your business, I feel you know you're going to get a real windfall of money here around June, and that's going to allow for new opportunities to open up. So for expansion, um, I feel that's going to be big. So if you guys had a business, maybe you're going to open up a second location, or you're going to get new ideas. Uh, you may get partnership offers or things of that nature. Um, but the theme is opportunities and opportunities for increased wealth in the summer months. <coughs> okay, for August we have motivation. clarified by the page of cups so your motivation in the month of August I feel children for some of you are going to play a big part in your motivation um, I also feel like you're some of you may be motivated to offer your love to someone to communicate your feelings a little bit more I feel like you guys are going to be really feeling really good about yourselves in the summer months. And that's going to motivate you to do a lot of things. It's going to motivate love coming into your life. I feel like you guys are going to be manifesting a lot in the summer months. Financially and um, financially, spiritually, and emotionally, actually, is what I feel. The summer months are going to be pretty fun for you, I have to say. Okay? So, September we have leaving. So you may be leaving something behind in September. Let's see what that is. Yes, all right. We have leaving, but we have that clarified by the Six of Swords reverse. So... In September, there's going to be something that you're going to want to leave behind, but it's going to be very difficult for you to do so. Um, this could have to do with I feel like there's a topic that you want to leave behind. There's something that has been recurring in your life a, a particular topic that you wish to leave behind but you have not been able to and I feel like September is really your opportunity whatever it is that you guys have been struggling with or will be struggling with this year in 2018 that you're having trouble getting away from a, a certain topic that you don't no longer want to talk about it hurts you whatever it is uh, certain thought patterns ways of thinking I feel like there's going to be a, a, a shift here in September 
that will allow you to move forward and transcend whatever this situation is. But it will be difficult is, is what I feel here. So the month of September could be a bit difficult with leaving certain matters behind, but that will definitely be the theme there. So more attention to that. You know, sometimes when we go through life not being conscious about what, you know, because we could see, we can, we obviously, we know everything that's going on around us while it's going on around us. But unless we make sometimes a conscious effort to really focus on that particular thing that's giving you an issue or that's creating some imbalance in your life, unless you really focus on that, we sometimes just tend to overlook things and not tackle them head on and, and find a solution for it. So I feel in September you guys will have that opportunity to find a solution and finally leave something behind if you really focus on that, if that really becomes your focus, which is this is what this is saying, you know, telling us what you need to focus on for, for each month of the year. Okay, so in September, if you guys really focus on leaving what no longer serves you behind, you will be successful even though you have been trying for a long time and have not been successful. So September is the month, okay? October, we have dietary change. All right, dietary changes are going to be difficult for you in the month of October. Uh, something that you have been very persistent about. I feel like maybe this is a New Year's resolution that's been hard for you to maintain, but you're persisting. And, the, and the, uh, the advice here is to persist, okay? So dietary changes don't necessarily really happen overnight. It's something, uh, I should say, they don't happen usually successfully overnight. Um, you know, whenever we go cold turkey and say, okay, I'm not gonna eat anymore, I'm not gonna have any more sugar, and we go cold turkey, for some people that works, but for other people it works for about a week, and then you go really hard the other way. And that's what you want to try to avoid. So in October, that's where the focus is going to be, is to maintain your consistency um, with your dietary changes if this is something that you're really serious about. Um, so I do feel like September is going to be a month where perhaps also you, you're going to be feeling really run down if you don't pay attention to your diet um, and taking care of yourself. So I, I do feel like that's, that's going to be a major focus for you there or it will have to be because otherwise you guys will have um, physical manifestations of this um, lack of regard, you know, for your diet and for, for your overall well-being. <clears throat> okay, so for November we have Be True to You. Sorry, I was getting myself back into... <laughs> I don't want to, you know, like do this wrong and do the wrong month. So November, we have be true to you. So that is really living in your truth. Okay, we have clarified by the Knight of Wands reverse. So there's a fiery energy here in November. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that is very prominent in your life. But it's causing you a lot of conflict. I feel like there's just um, anger here uh, with this person. And the advice here is that you have to be true to yourself. You can't just keep appeasing people and allowing them to put you in a spot where you're living your life almost just to please others and you kind of lose sight of yourself is what I'm getting here. So it's really important to keep your focus, um, not make these hasty decisions. I know that, you know, us Tauruses tend to be a little bit hot headed and when we're in that state of anger, of uh, being, you know, just our blood is boiling we don't make the best decisions, you know, we tend to make very impulsive decisions. Um, and that's not keeping true to ourselves either because, you know, we're fixed signs, we're Tauruses, we're, we're earth signs, we're not known to be necessarily impulsive, but we do put ourselves in the state 
that kind of pushes us to be that way uh, because we let our emotions, our, our passion, you know, get the best of us. And, and we tend to, you know, make poor decisions when we're in that state. And that's where in November, I feel like this is going to be really um, important for you. Also, being honest with a fire sign in your life here in November, um, whatever your truth is, I feel like this person, this fire sign in your life in November is not going to like it. But you're not doing anybody any favors if you lie to them just to keep them happy. Okay, so you, you are being advised to be true to yourself, uh, even though people around you might not be happy about it or might not like it. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit difficult, but November might be a difficult month, but I feel like it's your opportunity to really show people who you really are, and if they don't like that, then, you know, decisions will need to be made. So in the month of December, I do feel like you're dealing with some relationship dynamics here. Okay. And we have the Hermit. Um, I do feel, okay, so the winter months here for 2018 might be a little bit rocky. I do see that. I see the best time for you guys is this year is going to be in the summer months. Summer months are definitely going to be awesome. I feel like you might have a bit of a, a, a slow start in 2017 because you're still dealing with things from the prior year. So you're trying to be patient, waiting for things to happen for you, you know, healing from the past, trying to move forward, you know, despite your fears. Um, trying to communicate what it is that you really want and getting that support from the people around you, working on your appearance, um, how you feel about yourself. And this in turn, <clears throat> this whole process that you're going through here in the beginning of the year is really going to open up the opportunities for you, financial opportunities uh, to really feel accomplished as well as opportunities for new emotions to come in for you to offer your love to other people i feel like you're going to really you know the thing with us uh, earth signs kind of when we're doing well financially we tend to be more motivated and open to other things in our lives like romance and you know whatever and i feel like that's exactly what happens you gain this confidence here toward the end of the summer months because you're doing so well financially Okay, and that's going to spill over into you leaving things that you were dealing with in the beginning of the year. You're going to finally, I feel, be able to leave them behind uh, towards the fall. Okay, um, but there is a need here for you to focus again on yourself towards the end of the year. With regards to your physicality, so your diet, your exercise, your health in general, uh, being very consistent with that as well as emotionally and spiritually because you need to really, I, I feel like, stand up for yourself, stand up for your beliefs, um, and kind of defend yourself from people who, I don't feel like it's on purpose, but people who kind of run you over sometimes with their desires and their needs and their wants and sometimes their, their selfishness, and you're just going to have to find a way to say no. And these relationship dynamics... You know, I feel like there's going to be some isolation here towards the end of the year. I feel like you're going to find out who's who. <laughs> Jeez, as if, as if we haven't been through enough. But we're going to find out who's who here in December. So a full year from now, um, we're still going to be dealing with relationship dynamics and maybe really going within and deciding who we are, because I feel like this is going to be a year of major changes for us. Um, and not so much, I feel like not so much changes as to who we are, but changes as far as acceptance, acceptance of what we do want, what we don't want, who we really are, and who we want to be going into the future. And that might not agree with everybody around you. Okay, so those are going to be the issues. And I feel like also, you guys, or we, will be having to really think about how we treat others and how others are treating us. 
um, and making the changes there that are necessary and whether that means you know exiting somebody's life that that is a possibility um, there could be a Virgo perhaps in your life in, in December that's going to be very important in um, sort of helping you see where maybe you go wrong within your relationship dynamics or what causes issues for you um, you know that that kind of affect your life as a whole and your career and your relationships whatever that might be okay so overall um, I do want to pull an Archangel Oracle card here for you for your overall for the year Angel, please tell us what does Taurus need to really focus on okay we got two cards and we have teaching and learning and moon cycles okay so for teaching and learning it says Archangel Zed Kill keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others all right and then we have moon cycles Archangel Haniel notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles okay so the moon is going to be really important for you guys this year so really keep an eye out for when the full moons are um, in effect as well as, as the new moons for manifestations whatever it is that you guys want to manifest into your life whether it be relationships or um, your financial abundance use the moon cycles to help you um, as you guys know moon uh, new moons are best for manifestations full moons are more about culminations of things so keep that in mind and I feel like um, you guys are going to be learning a lot this year maybe learning a new trade learning something new on, on the job um, as well as really using the knowledge that you have picked up during the year I feel like you guys are going to be really going through some experiences that are going to help you ascend um, spiritually as well as in the material realm and you're going to have an opportunity to teach these things to other people or to share your knowledge somehow maybe through I don't know if you guys are like some of you are teaching a class or maybe through YouTube maybe through a, you know publications a book blogs something of that nature I feel like you guys are going to be sharing your knowledge with others this year or that that should be a focus in your life this year because you guys have a lot to offer um, and also a lot to gain okay so use I feel like it's important for you guys to feel at one with the universe this year and really pay attention to the universe and how we all play a part in it you know so the moons or the moon cycles are going to be important for you in this coming year okay guys so that's what i have for you i hope you liked it let me know give me your leave me your comments please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you soon for your mid months thanks guys